Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Donny Boy 73 the Small Engine Doctor. Today I'll be showing you some lawnmower storage tips for the coming winter season. If you want your lawnmower to be trouble free in the springtime, it's good to follow one of the methods that I'm going to show you in this video. In the first method I'll be showing you today, you can use fuel stabilizer, read the instructions and add it to the fuel in your lawnmower, start your lawnmower with the fuel stabilizer in the gas tank and let it run for a while so that the fuel works its way up to the carburetor. Just follow the instructions on the container and then add it to your fuel tank. It's very important that after you add the fuel stabilizer to the gas tank that you run your lawnmower for a few minutes. This will allow all the gas with the fuel stabilizer in it to work its way up to the carburetor. What this will ensure is that the gas that is in the carburetor will not go bad as well. The other method that I'm going to show you, and this is my preferred method as well, is to run the lawnmower until the gas tank is dry. Now if you have a lot of fuel left in the gas tank of your lawnmower and you don't feel like running it for an hour or so, just grab a baster like this and suck out the fuel and just dump it into a container. You can use this fuel in another piece of equipment that you own. Then you can start it up again, it's only going to run a few minutes, it's going to burn the fuel that's left in the fuel line and the carburetor. Now after it dies, you know that there's no fuel left in the carburetor or the fuel tank at all that's going to go bad over the winter months. Another reason why this is my preferred method is because a lot of the fuel nowadays has ethanol in it. What can happen over time is the ethanol can separate from the fuel because it's water based and that can cause you problems. I've opened up carburetors that had fuel in them all winter long and they had a bit of algae or green stuff inside the bowls. And I also repaired other lawnmowers in the spring that had a bit of water in the gas tank. And I do know that the owners of these lawnmowers looked after them and that they always put good gas in their lawnmowers. So it just goes to show that sometimes the ethanol can cause you problems if you leave the fuel in your equipment all season long. Another tip when putting away your lawnmower for the winter is you can spray some engine storage spray or engine fogger inside the cylinder. Just simply remove the spark plug. Now spray a few squirts of this product inside the cylinder. And now turn the engine over a few times. And this will ensure that the engine fogger gets all over inside the cylinder and the piston. And now just reinstall your spark plug and do not start the engine. Now spraying engine storage spray or engine fogger inside the cylinder is just a suggestion. It's not a necessity. I mostly use this stuff inside outboard motors because they can tend to be more moisture inside those engines. Now that I've showed you how to look after the engine when you put away your lawnmower for the winter, I'm going to show you how to look after the underside of the lawnmower. For example, if you look under this lawnmower, it's full of old grass and this can cause your deck to rust. So it's really important that you clean the underside of your lawnmower really well with the scraper. You want to make sure it's clean really well because the moisture will build up between the grass and the body of the lawnmower and your body is going to start getting holes in it. And what you want is the underside of your lawnmower to look nice and clean like this one here. You can also use a wire brush to clean it really well. If you have the energy, you can even paint it if you want. This will prevent it from rusting further. And if you don't feel like painting it, you can even spray some WD-40 liquid wrench or some other rust proofing agent that will prevent your deck from rusting. But just having scraped off the old grass will prevent it from rusting. Now one last tip is if your lawnmower has an electric starter on it, you may want to remove the battery for the winter time. For example, on this tow road, the battery is right here. So all I would do is disconnect these two wires and take the battery out and I would store it in my basement, not on the cement, but on some piece of wood or something like that and keep it in the warmth all winter long. This will help your battery last a lot longer. So these are just some tips on how to put away your lawnmower for the winter time. If you do have some more tips that I haven't mentioned in this video, please post them underneath this video in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. It's always free and I'm always posting new videos and we'll see you next time.